What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here, guys. I want to welcome you to NBA 2K21 PS4 version. This is the current gen version, and we are jumping into the create a player segment. Now, I mentioned I pulled a few people, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this game yet, but uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to play this game or wait until next gen or, you know, the PS5, you know, you know, whatever that kind of generation. I opted, a lot of people pulled me, they said just wait, but then I thought about it, man. Who knows when the PS5 is coming out? We don't have a re release, it could get delayed. So at least play this for the story, because we know that the story uh, is a lot, uh, you know, it's pretty fast these days. So you go through the story, you finish it, and you move on. So for those wondering, I will be doing a next gen. I will be doing a brand, a, a fresh series. I just think I'll just start this one. You can't import your my player. That's one thing to mention. The only thing you can import is your my team. Um, but honestly, if the story is basically the same, um, you know, I don't know. It makes more sense to try this, but I think it's gonna be very different when we get to next gen. So for now, I might as well play this at least for story. Will I finish the, you know, the career? I don't know. This might be the first one we don't finish. But either way you look at it, 2K21, like the sorry, the next gen is going to get finished 100%. So that's gonna be interesting and we'll see how it goes but for now i figured i'd just start by getting my player built started up and ready to go uh for uh you know the story and all that we'll see where we go from there so and plus if you get the kobe edition or the uh you know the mamba edition which i i think i was going to anyway it'll let you get the ps5 version for free so i feel like either way it's a win-win so i figured i'd go ahead and give that a go anyway guys if you're ready to rock and roll with this series, don't forget to leave a like. It helps out a lot. Let's try and get to 500 on this first video. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump in. Got my uh, my face imported already. Quite well, I might ask. It's a lot better than past years. So I did have to change my face scan a couple of times. To be fair, it was very consistent from time to time. The only thing that was different was the upper lip was a little withdrawn. Even in this one, it's not perfect. But honestly, man, once I put facial hair on, this is just it's scanning my natural facial hair and i find that any imperfections you have with the scan you can just go ahead and throw some facial hair on it hides it and you won't even know so overall i am happy with this i remember the first one my my nose was like super crooked and i'm like dude i don't have like a broken nose let's fix that so overall i'm very happy with this downside is when 2k21 next gen comes out i'm gonna have to redo it so all right so we're gonna go ahead and edit this head a little bit just to get myself it's funny because like the facial hair actually did a little bit better than it has in past years but oops i'm honestly not going to adjust much in terms of the hair head shape and everything i find if you do that it ends up making a lot more cheese this is the this is the actually no i part right is there a part right yeah this is longer though see that one doesn't look as good no no, no. that's not parted right that's parted to your left that's the wrong direction i part this way that doesn't even parted left unless it means that the part is on the left Fate, you know, left side. Usually I thought if it's, maybe it is. That's actually the hair I rep, but that is exactly what my hair is like. So it's like, why would I not? Can you imagine being a young man and receding? I know it happens. But bruh. Spiky. That's the Jeremy Lin right there. Uh, see, my I, the thing is I have a lot of hair. So it ain't gonna work. Full hawk fade. Let's see. I don't know if there's anything new I want to get. I think it looks all rubbish. I find the more hair, the better with a created face because, you know, like I said, you can cover up any imperfections. Even though there aren't that many, I'm actually pretty impressed. So we're going to edit it. We're going to go dark black, or sorry, dark brown. You can almost, there's like next to no difference. It's very natural hair colors. Proper orange. Very, like I said, they're very natural hair colors. And I forgot about the hair length option. <laughs> that just looks so funny, bro. Right now my hair is quite short. I can't remember if I boosted it or not. No, I'm gonna keep it short. That looks crisper. Literally, it looks just like my old player. As soon as we throw a beard on it, guys, it'll be exact. Here's the thing though, I would keep the same face year to year if I could. Just because it's so much simpler to do it that way. Anyway, not worried about that. Eyebrows, I might change. I don't even know if I will. These seem to fit the face well. Let's see. Eyebrows three is the winner so far. That's all you get. Seven is pretty bushy. That's three again. None. See, as you can see, you can see my eyebrows underneath 
like kind of what we're dealing with here. I just realized like it's got to be like enough where it covers it and flows naturally. See how there's still like it's got to come high enough. That one's almost unibrowish. Come on, if you're in the, I mean, besides Anthony Davis. See, those are too crisp. I think I'll stick with the threes. Hold on, can I change the color? I wish there was an option to just change them all to the same color. That would make life a lot easier on us, I think. Eyes, eye color is the only thing I'm really changing. Eye color is, they don't have my color. They, well, my color is super different. I'm not surprised. I usually go with the gray because I'm like a mix between this, this, and gray. So it's like an aquamarine gray. I can't even explain it. So we'll just rep the gray for now. I'd say that's the closest color that you could get out of it. My eye color has literally changed like three times. It started off as blue as hell and it shifted to a gray, more of a gray. And now it's more of a green, blue, gray. Like I said, aquam aquamarine gray. People are like, okay, sure, Dan. Like, just look at them. I don't even know. I wish I had a solid color, but I don't know if the ears really matter too much. My ears aren't that flat though, so I might do something that's, to be honest, that's way more accurate to your boy. I have big lobes. I don't have stick outs though. My lobes are pluffy. See how they stick out too far? Can I adjust them? No, I don't need that. That's not what I want. I want the back to kind of... Not the scale. That's what I wanted. Let's drop it to a five and see what we're sitting at. Honestly, that's a lot better. That's pretty close, man, actually, to my real ears. I think the low... I need a bit more low, but overall... That's pretty damn accurate. Dope. I'll take them. I don't even need to look further. This is where we really got to cover that. <laughs> Full facial hair. Just cover up the already there beard. It's so much harder for me to do... I think that's our one right there. Um, it's so much harder for me to do... Uh, a face scan because of my facial hair. So usually what happens is before a face scan happens, I trim the beard as short as I can to show as much lip as possible. That's definitely like LeBron. I think that's James Harden. That's definitely the Harden. I don't think it works for me, though. There's way more, though, I gotta say. Look at all this. I'll take that fate, that mustache, and if you can match up with a beard. You know what I mean? But they can't, you can't add, like, multiple. There's got to be like a non-LeBron James, James Harden full beard. I did see it early on. I think that's the only one. I'm not even concerned. Yeah, let's just go back. There's 50 to choose from. We need the fulls. Which one did they give me? This is the one, I think. Yeah, that's the one I ended up using. It seems to be a good, like, good... See what I mean? It does look like the same player. <laughs> I mean, at least we're covered and we've got consistency. The thing is, it does fill the whole beard. So go to LeBron, and we'll skip to the Harden. See, the Harden, that's not my line. And it's way too untrimmed at the base. You gotta, you gotta fix that, bro. I'd say his beard is getting a little better as time goes on. At first, it was pretty wild. See, this one's like nice and even. It's not as long, unless I can adjust the length. Of course, you can't. You should be able to adjust the length. Something that makes it fuller. I will do stubble with to make it a little fuller. See what I mean? Adds to it. I think stubble one is really good so far. I'll do stubble one. It fills the beard a little more. Money. Maybach music. Skin, I've already changed just to get a better, the whitest possible thing you could possibly find. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, hold on. Let me just get a good view here. I'll take that. That looks good. What do you think, guys? Are we happy with this? I'm happy with that. 
All right, well, done. I'm actually very happy with this. I mean, it looks, like I said, man, it, it's good. It's, we're consistent. We look like we used to look. So I'm not salty about it. So let's go ahead and set our deets. Cause yeah, the only thing I was like really hesitating about, guys, is um, was I um, sorry? Everyone wanted me to make a shooting guard. No thanks. <laughs> what you? I was gonna be like, you, what? There's no three. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sorry, the music that's playing underneath. I'll have to mute. <laughs> the way it is all right now this is the interesting bit now do i want to change up my style see i want my playmaking my finishing and my shooting all to be boosted but i i don't think it works that way finishing and shooting i think this is basically what i had it at my post moves are 61 but see like look at the passing and look at the interior defense the stealing is already high look at that one that actually might be a good starter I think it's slightly different. So maximum close shot is 87. Driving layups in 91. Driving dunks in 80. So I can't get it any higher than that. My stand dunk's 54. So I can dunk, but I won't be able to get anything crazy. But I start off on the maximum being an 80 for a steal. You gotta remember, that's the maximum. Your starting is rubbish. But I'm just trying to look at how high it's gonna go. My free throw goes to an 86. I've made it so my free throw is at an eight. What is that one? One, two, three, third down. Try and balance. Again, you can focus on shooting. Look at that, 95 all around. But everything else takes kind of a back seat. Look at the dunk, 59. This one might be pretty good. Um, close shots, 92. Free throw, 91. This might be very similar. Let's see. Driving dunk, 74. No, it's not the same. I don't know if I want to do the same necessarily, but I, d I still want to get my stats up. I want my shot. My close shot at 87, that's okay. But I want my shooting to be good. Playmaking is really good too. Almost like a Curry build right here. No, I didn't even think it's high enough for Curry. But we're going to get way more badges. What I want to do is have emphasis on the blue and the green. Heavy playmaker. Look at that. Heavy defense. They did change them, I think. I think you can have some boost perks. So I want to have something like this, except with the green and the blue. I think that's what I want. No, wait, do I want that? Driving dunks, 82. Driving layup, 95. But then look at the shooting. It takes a real big back seat, and I don't want that at all. Like, I want shooting and finishing up there in the max. I think this is, hold on. I think I'm gonna end up settling for this. Because my steel can get up to an 80. That's going to be great. Driving dunk can get to an 80. Get to a 94 on this one. Jesus. 77 on there. So what's the difference between these two? There's just a little bit more shooting in this one. So the difference between three point, that goes to a 79, 81 mid-range. 83, 81. The differences are negligible on these two, really. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up settling for this. The maximum, see, interior defense is pretty rubbish, though 49 is a maximum. Perimeter is 76. Lateral quickness 74. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not great. Rebounding is not good, but again, I'm a point guard. That's the goal here, is a point guard. But my passing is 78. Ball handling is 83. I'm cool with those, those are decently high numbers. My free throw is 86 max. Maximum 86. I don't want my post hook to be that high, though. I don't care about post hook. I, I care about driving down close shot and layup. That's what I want high there. And shooting, I want to boost to my mid-range and my three-point. So, it's actually tougher than you think. Unless I just completely abandon it and just go with a shot guy. I do like shooting, but that's all shooting. I, you don't need that much into shooting. 
All right, so I think I'm actually going to settle with this. It seems like it's similar to numbers I got last year. I know I know people are probably like, damn, switch it up. I don't know, maybe I, maybe an emphasis on shooting. So maybe the the green and the the green and the yellow should be bigger. Like something like that. Pass handling and like everything is just proper point guard kind of thing, but look like my free throw is at a 90, that really boosts it. Uh, my dunks though are no good, so I would be able to dunk, but not very. I still want to be able to dunk. My layup's an 80 max, so I, I don't like how being so restricted. That's the thing I wish. Like you're so restricted here. I feel like a playmaker 95 is good, but it's not really that good, in my opinion. Like they they all restrict you. You have to take some sort of an L at some point. So I think I'm happiest with this because even my ball, my pass accuracy is at roughly 80. And you can increase that. So I'm going to go pick this. Physical profile, agility, strength, and vertical are all... Again, I think I like to go for a balanced one. Your vertical, that'll inc imp increase. My agility is usually something I want really high. But I also want my strength. My strength could take a back seat, to be honest. I mean, it helps for like contact dunks. But those do go up as your stats go up. But all of them are so low, it's just like, you know what I mean? Like, look at this, hold on. What do I want to drop? So I can get a boost and lose 10 to my strength, but gain speed, acceleration, and vertical. But it's only by a small amount. Have you noticed this? It's such a negligible amount. It's better off to just go with the balanced one. See, that's what I don't understand. It's like, it's only slightly increased comparatively. So all of these are kind of rubbish. The vertical is good, speed is good, strength is, like, so pointless. You might as well go with the balanced one to get the best stats. That's why I wish they fixed that. Anyway, so what we want to do, my driving dunk, I want to be quite high. Uh, I want my shooting. Three point, I'm going to max out as high as it'll get. Um, let's see. Driving layup, I want high. Standing dunk can stay there. I don't really care. Close shot. Mm, mid range, we want maxed out. That's not even a. Not even a question. Free throw's got to be high. Post fade, I don't care about that. I, if I could drop it, I would. Uh, ball handling and pass accuracy got to be through the roof. No question about that. My steal has got to be high. My interior defense, my actually my perimeter defense has to be maxed. Lateral qu quickness has to be up there. Interior, I'll try and max it out. I'm running out of time here. Uh, steal is good. Block is no good. I think defensive rebound. I want to max out. I mean, six badges, three finishing badges. I'm actually surprised there aren't any more than that. Um, but tons of shooting. Well, no, I did something similar last year, I think. All right, well, anyway, standing dunk. See, right now my dunk can get to a 77 right now. That doesn't make sense. No, maybe it is. That'll improve. Close shot's got to be boosted. There you go. Max that out, get to an 88, driving layup 88. Again, standing dunk, I only have five to spend. Uh, post moves, I didn't do post moves, did I? Way more defensive rebounds though. My post moves, I love to do a post fade though. That's a heavy part of it. Ooh. I'm just wondering. Blocking is so low. I wonder if I should drop my. What do I drop at this point? Like if I could, if I could drop the post hook to a zero, I would just to get those stats. But because I can't do that, I'm very restricted. So I would like my post moves up. See, I don't. You have to sacrifice perimeter to defense. Maybe I'll drop this to a seventy. Lateral quickness will drop to a seventy. Steal, I want to leave. That's a heavy part of my game. Defensive rebound, I would like to keep that higher. At least try and get some boards. What happens if we max it out? Wait, post moves. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. No. Screw post moves. Post fade. That's what I'm after. My bad. Post fade's what I'm after. Not post moves. I don't care about those. Um, that's not my type of game, you know? I'm not in there. Playmaking bet, we have way more. We lost some defensive, though. Uh, but our finishing issue... Look at those 19 badges. It's going to be insane. Well, I mean, it's going to be similar. 
That's what I'm shooting for, though. I'm not trying to get too crazy. I want to keep that four. I'm going to need it. That's, like, not much. Even then, my, my defense is kind of low. Is there anything I'm willing to sacrifice? Driving dunk. Close shot I could drop, I think. I don't need it that much. Maybe boost that post fade even more. 75. 20 shooting badges. Maybe boost one in a perimeter defense. Ball handling down to an 80. Try and get that extra badge. There it is. I can do that. Just get the badge that we want. There you go. And then spend the last one ball handling. 79. Honestly, close shot. I can drop to an 82. Post fade, I can bring up 78. I want it close to 80. 73. Perimeter defense. You want that fairly high. Steel is really good. That's the potential, though. That's starting in the potential. I, I know it shows that you can max them out, but you can't max them out. You have to take your pick. As this changes, we'll be able to improve them, too. Like when we change the length of our arms and things like that. Oh, how am I looking at that? 12 finishing badges, 20 shooting. I use a ton of shooting badges. 11 playmaking. That's way more than before, I believe. And we have an extra into defense. I think I'm okay with that. I'd like a big a bit of a bit more of a boost, but driving layup is important. Unless I want to drop the driving layup slightly. That's just enough to get me. Again, that. That's maxed out already, so we can't do anything about it. I think I'm okay with this build. It'll improve and you won't even notice. It's like negligible. My mid-range, these are all maxed out except for the post wave. That's a 78. That's solid. And the better we get, the better we're, it'll be. So I'm cool with this. Body shape, solid, defined, burly. Oh, man. It doesn't even look natural. Look at his head. Built, slight. It's funny because that's more accurate, but if I'm dunking on people, I can't be looking like this. Compact. Solid. Yeah, see, look how skinny. That's the most accurate that I would probably be, but it wouldn't make sense if I'm dunking on people like this. You got to be a little bigger. I don't want burly. Defined is like, I think defined makes sense if, uh, for a point guard that could be dunking on people. Do you know what I mean? Like that's more accurate, but I'm not gonna be dunking on that many people. You know what? I like solid. I forgot, I haven't changed my height yet. Things are changing. Driving dunk goes down to a 75. That really is gonna hinder me. My ball handling boosts. Uh, steel goes up, so that means I can drop it. Correct? They should let you do this first. You know, post moves. Nothing changes with the shot. I don't know why it does that. It should let you change your height before. Six foot eight point guard. That's the highest you can go this year. It's doable though. Yeah, my steel goes up. That like that thing is gonna be insane. But look at that dunk. That sucks. But even then, if you go too tall, the driving dunk slows down. I don't care about the standing dunk. I ended up doing 180 pounds, I think. But I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that because, like, you want to find the sweet spot. 200 pounds. Interior defense improves. I don't want to be too heavy because you do lose your speed. It's a balance. See, right there... We lose acceleration. So I think 185 is a sweet spot where we have more strength. Like 200 pounds, 70 strength, but our speed deteriorates. Not by much, to be honest. I'll be 185. I think that's a good balance. Wingspan. This part we can get some. You don't want to be too. You want to do the one where you gain the most and lose the least. These long, long arms. That's as high as you can go. Shorter wing. I think I ended up dropping my wingspan slightly. 
That's the one it's at, 76.5. So we lose close shot because it's a little shorter. Ball handling goes up. I think 77.4 is the best compromise. Or is it? You get three and you sack, so you get one extra. Close shot and standing dunk goes up. I don't think it makes sense. All right, my takeover. I originally picked uh, Slasher. Uh, like shooting off the dribble. Shot creating is fun though. So we get marked improvement hit from deep, especially in catch and shoot situations. Playmaker. I think I'm gonna s select between this and shot creator. Step back and spin gathers. Fishing at the rim. I'm actually gonna do slasher. It's just so much better. There it is. All right, scoring machine. Actually, I think I had something similar last year. <laughs> Shades of Tim Hardaway, Trey Young, and Chris Paul. I'm okay with that. It's a mix. People are like Dan, pick something else. You know, be a shooting guard. I'm trying to, I'm trying to replicate myself. You know what I mean? So, that's the goal here. Test what we're like maxed out. I hate the restrictions though. It really does suck, doesn't it? We have more badges though, so we're gonna end up doing things like we have 12 of these. So I definitely want to do um, teardropper gold, lob city finisher gold. Uh, Contact finisher gold. Acrobat gold. Uh, what else do I have? No upgrades. I think that's what I actually did last time. Confirm that. And then shooting badges. Catch and shoot gold. Uh, we're going to have a lot of these. Uh, Dead eye. That's going all the way to plat. Range extender. That's going to plat. Or hall of fame. Sorry, I'm calling it plat. Volume shooter. That's going to plat. Um. Where is it? Green? No, not green machine. Difficult shots is going up. Let's see. I can only do one, though. I feel like I missed it. No volume shooter I've already got. Steady shooter. Tireless shooter. I don't really do that as much. See, I think this was actually what I had before. Hot, hot zone shooter. Pump fake might... No. Green machine. Corner specialist is good. But I think if you have these, it won't matter. Catch and shoot plat. Or I can do a corner specialist bronze. We'll hold off on that. Let's you kind of practice them. Playmaking badges. Ankle breaker, I usually go gold. Eight left. Uh, let's see. Dimer. For sure. Flashy. No, I don't really use that. Five left. Handles for days. Performing dribble. That might. Lob City passer, I usually go. Post spin, pass. Needle threader. Tight handles. Break down the defender. I think that might be what I'm going to go with for now. Getting stripped. Attribute bonus. That just seems really good. Flash. No. Break starter. Effective out. See, again, your passing is going to get boosted for that. Dimer, ankle breaker, and tight handles. Some of these are great, but we're kind of limited. So this is just for practice sake. Defense-wise, I know what I did, but I have an extra one. I think I only had four. So I usually went pickpocket and got these to that. And then I ended up doing interceptor. I think I only had two, actually, or three. It was either get both to silver or one to gold. But now I can get one to gold. And interceptor, pickpocket's better. So I don't end up being able to do that. I know for a fact that's what I'm going to roll with. It's limited, but I know my, I know my way around. There it is. Let's give it a go, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this first video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media, facebook.com slash DanQ8000, Twitter at DanQ8000, Instagram at DanQ8000, and Snapchat DanQ8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, link in the description. If you want to save 10% of your next DX racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code DanQ8000 at checkout. Also, guys, be sure to check out my Discord server. There's an invite link in the description. When you're shopping on the Epic Game Store, don't forget to use my creator code DanQ8K. Finally, guys, 
guys, if you want to sign up to become a Danku8000 member, there's a link in the description, also a join button below the video. If you sign up for that, you do get exclusive perks, such as a badge by your name, emojis to use in chat priority, in open lobbies, exclusive videos only you'll be able to see, and of course, the monthly game giveaway you'll be entered in. It does help with the page a lot. You get those cool perks, and I greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, thank you so much again. Take care. Have a great day. I'll be seeing you soon for more, but until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Feel you only feel it when you hide NBA 2K on the dime Drop it